My people have without hesitation drank from wells that are polluted. They force their innocent children to also drink from poisoned waters. These do not understand that they are spiritually blind. America, Saturn has charmed you with his beauty. An angel of light has put before you a prince who charms and a beauty who snips. Fairy tales that teach young children to rely on people and not me. What do I say about charm, about beauty? Yet those who claim to know me and pray to me and worship me have sown abominations into their own children's hearts because they fell into the vanity of competition. And Satan has held out the prize that vain people spend their lives working to attain a trip to a satanic world which was built by and cursed by demonic servants of your enemy. Does no one heed my word? Then in vain you worship me, claiming my benefits, but having no substance in your heart toward me. I say charm is deceitful, but you worship and spend your money on charm. You reward the charming with attention and other things. You love to be charmed. You wear charms, not caring that many of these items have been cursed. Narcissists use charm to win people's souls. Satan himself comes to you with charm and things that make your flesh feel like all is well. And you accept the cup. You drink death from it, then cause your children to drink death. You claim to be so holy in your being pro-life, but then you abuse your children spiritually by turning them from me, teaching them lies and ways of demons. This is not pro-life. This is the way to earn something worse than a millstone around your neck and be drowned. I said, bring the little children to me, not to Molech. How dare you claim to worship me? When all day long you worship Molech and teach your children to also. You hypocrites are scoffing at my call to holiness right now. You are not mine. The humble will hear of my testimony and way and be glad, not those who love their darkness. You will live forever with what you embrace. Your hell is your choice to pay for your own sin because you do not regard the costly covenant. You say you accept. I said beauty is vain. It is nothing to me. Beauty does not wow me. I see how your enemy has caused even those who claim to be mine to worship beauty. Many spend hours in front of a mirror so to ensure that their appearance will draw people to them. For what? Are you drawing them to you in vanity to share my truth with them? No, most who love beauty want others to last after them. Yes, those among the churches would rather be known for their outer beauty and not their dead bones inside of them, like whitewashed tombs, vanity. Beauty is vain, I said, but there is one I am pleased with. Who am I pleased with? Read my word. You can't gain my pearls of wisdom unless you have set your heart to obey what I say, and then you will find life. Because you have worshipped me in vain, ignoring what my word says, in dismissing me because I am word, you read, the charm is deceitful, yet to clamor to gain the attention of those charming snakes. I am all about truth. Charm is no truth. Flee from such vain worshippers who only want people to worship their outer appearance so that they do not have to look at their depraved hearts. They think I'm a punitive God, so they refuse to splay their hearts before me like David did. Truly, all who want to live in my kingdom will let me search their hearts and they will obey what my word says. Mine who have done this, know that I am only love. I alone am good.
You will never understand this until you set your heart to obey me and do so and seek me. Time is a gift. Use it to know me. Eternal regret truly would be a hell. If you really love me, then you reverence my words. If you read that charm is deceitful, then hung with the proud, you will become like the company you desire. Is it not so that you gain from associating with the proud and vain? Isn't this because you do not actually trust me, your maker, to give you what I think you need? Isn't it the nest of the flesh and eyes and the pride of life that most in this world seek? When I have said that those things are against my truth, and those who love the world cannot have my Holy Spirit or know what my fruit is like, I do not give my peace that surpasses understanding to those who love their own image more than me. You strive to please people when I have said that to please man is to know to seek to please me. I said beauty is vain, nothing, and it will cause many to stumble if worshipped. Many paint their faces with precise detail, fearing other people's opinions of them but with no regard toward me. Is this not worshipping me in vain? What has charm, deception gained you? What has beauty, vanity gained you? You gained what the eyes love, what the flesh loves. If you believe that I am okay with you disregarding my word, my son, if you disregard my son, my word, you disregard me. So don't cry to me for mercy then. When your face suddenly becomes covered with shame, then your eternal destruction. I said, get out of the world. I don't care how charming or handsome your preacher is. If they love the world, you need to discern this and separate. If your religion is vain, you are on your way to hell. If you serve yourself, and love, deceit, and vanity, it will be all the reward you will receive, then eternal darkness. You will weep and gnash your teeth for having chosen to harden your heart when I call to you. The rich man in hell remembered his errors, and knowing his brother's suffering in hell would only cause him even more suffering. Why is my word ignored and passed over? as though it has nothing to do with the soul reading it. How can you read my truth and walk away, dismissing me? You say you love Jesus Christ, yet he is the word by which you exist. You resist bowing to what my word tells you to do. Then you really do not love Jesus Christ, my word, do you? I said, if you don't love my son, then you do not love or know me. You would know I speak truth when I say, Depart from me, I never knew you. You admit that it is your sin against me, treating my word as though it is vain. Repent and turn to righteousness now. Repent of drinking in the world's ways. Repent of forcing your innocent children to conform to demonic shows, amusement parks, the ways of the world. I said, come out of the world. My warnings are because I love mine, and they are still sheep of mine who do not know me yet. I'm searching out my lost sheep, and will bring judgment after I have grown and gathered my last lost one. These are they who heed my warnings and give up the world and its ways as I need and direct you. No more vanity among my own. No love for this world, which is mixed with demonic things. If you do not make it a priority to take time in your schedule to seek me, soon then you will lament for eternity what you missed out on. And you won't have wisdom to teach your children the right way to go. And this also you will remember in hell, how you could have etc. You will not miss any vain thing in hell. 
Things won't comfort you there. Your beauty won't relieve you there. Charm is nothing in hell. There will be none who care for your distress there. There will be none to help you there. You won't be able to tell your children you sinned against me and them by setting vain things before their eyes and ears. You will never be able to repent once you are in hell. So listen now, my mercy calls today. If spending time with me, even going away with me, to read and fast and pray and seek my face, if you prefer to indulge your flesh on your vacation times, that is your choice. I am calling to my sheep who are still lost out there in the world. Come home now, says your maker. You will never regret taking days and weeks to seek me. You will regret spending your time and money, indulging the flesh, and corrupting your children's innocence on vacations that the world celebrates. Can the world give you anything good? Who is the giver of all that is good? Do you know? Seek me. Let me cleanse your heart and desires of vain things. Indeed, if you claim to know me yet reject my word, your Savior, if you continue to ignore and treat my word as optional and not as your very food, sustenance for life, your vanity will perish with you, and you will weep as you pay for your own sin forever. Yes, this is very serious, my children. My remnant, intercede for those lost sheep to be drawn to me, out of the ways of the world, out of the fires of hell. Come out mine, come away from the deceivers, the charming, the beautiful. Yes, faith is not a sidewalk. Let me cleanse you, your family, your home from all abominations. Honor my word and obey it. Do not deny in obeying word. For in that delay comes doubt. Like the servant who said, he will do a task that his master asked him to do, but never does it. Watch, pray. Only those who seek me, just as my son labored in the garden before his sacrifice for you, do as he did. And you will see that my commands are not because I am punitive, but love only.